to yet another exciting edition of Trends. I'm Celebe Maifadi. For the next 60 minutes, I'll be getting you up to speed with the trending local and international art and entertainment news. In today's episode, we continue to highlight and celebrate the remarkable women in the creative industry. Do interact with us on Ad Trends on SABC. We look forward to your views. Catherine Kelly Lang, better known as the notorious Brooke Logan from long-standing soap opera The Bold and the Beautiful, is coming to South Africa, all courtesy of SABC3. Lang has been on local screens for over two decades as Logan, the love interest to a number of characters on the show. She will spend her time meeting her adoring fans, visiting South Africa's historic sites, and as part of her personal give back cause, break away from cancer, she will be competing in the gruesome and challenging Ironman Championship in Port Elizabeth. Fans in Kauteng will have a chance to meet Lang on 5th September at Menlin Park in Pretoria and at Maponya Mall in Soweto later that day. Organizers for the much-anticipated Comic-Con Africa taking place next month are proud to announce that they are adding another star to the lineup, Anthony Mackie. Mackie plays the Falcon in Marvel superhero films. The news of Mackie's attendance comes just weeks after the announcement that Aquaman Jason Mamoa will no longer be attending. Mackie is best known as Falcon but also featured in Oscar-winning films The Hurt Locker and Million Dollar Baby. Other stars expected at the festival include American Gods actors Yetiri Badaki and Ricky Whittle as well as the Big Bang Theory star Kevin Sisman. The award-winning comedy Big Bang Theory is gearing up for its final season. Season 12 will be the last we see of the much-loved gang of scientific misfits as they bid farewell come May next year. You know, I always thought Christian was a nice name. I don't know. Sounds a little too uncircumcised. <laughs> Bernadette, it's your turn. CBS lavishly Carl, praised the comedy series as the network made the announcement oh, this past hey, week. Focusing on a highly intelligent but socially Leonard. awkward and professor and his group of scientist friends. Big Bang Bernadette, was the biggest comedy ratings draw rating on broadcast television for years, winning 10 oh, Emmys. Oh, the show, which will end its 12-year run on 279 oh, episodes, oh, is a rare oh, example oh, of a long-running oh, hit TV oh, series oh, that has managed to retain its massive viewing figures. <laughs> Musical legend Stevie Wonder, songstress Jennifer Hudson and country singer Faith Hill will honor the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, at her funeral in Detroit in the U.S. next week. Looking out on the morning rain I used to feel so inspired the trio will be joined by the likes of Shaka Khan, Ron Isley and Yolanda Adams to give Franklin a fitting send-off. Franklin died last week at the age of 76 of pancreatic cancer in her Detroit home. The funeral will be held at Detroit's 4,000 seat Greater Grace Temple on August 31st, which was the venue for the 2005 funeral of civil rights activist Rosa Parks. The funeral will be limited to family, friends, dignitaries and special guests. Actress and filmmaker Mabato Monsu has traded her role behind the camera for brushes and paint. Her first solo exhibition titled Maniano, which is a Kosa word meaning unity, is currently on at the Constitution Hill in Johannesburg. The exhibition, which focuses on the history of women in the Methodist Church, seeks to explore different aspects of religion that constitutes women. Made out of old paint, this exhibition features 20 artworks. It is inspired by the Methodist Church's Manyano Women's Movement. And it is not a coincidence that this exhibition is adorning the walls of a former women's prison, especially this month when women are celebrated. Most importantly, 
The exhibition honors and celebrates women who played a vital role in shaping our society in different ways. The exhibition is a solo exhibition by Mabatu Manso, um, and it's her maiden exhibition. Uh, it's about Manyao, which is the, the Methodist uh, women's prayer group. And uh, basically it's an exhibition that depicts you know, the life of, of, of women whom we all have grown up knowing. You know, all of us are part of um, families where mothers, aunts, um, all were part of, the, of some kind of a women's prayer group or at least one that came from the Manyao movement. So they really this, this exhibition just um, uh, uh, you know, incorporates a, a beautiful rendition of um, what, what went on in the lives of the women and the normal daily things, you know, put washing, doing the washing, um, you know, um, going to church, the meetings, the different levels of, um, of, of membership within the Manyao movement and so forth. So it's a real celebration of, of, of that women's prayer group, which we all really grew up with. It's, it's especially um, an honor for us to have such an exhibition that, that really takes the hat off, you know, for women. Um, women continue to face a lot of um, um, challenges in society and so the struggle is really not over but um, but certainly um, when you look at it it's really um it's a continuing struggle. You know, many years ago in this prison, uh, women used to clean the floors and without even uh, the dignity of underwear. And today, women are still, young women are still having to deal with issues of, you know, not even being able to go to school because of a lack of uh, sanitary um, uh, material, sanitary equipment. So, um, so the struggle continues. So I think Women's Month is, a, is, is especially important for us here at Constitution Hill, where we, const we continue to remember um, the struggle of women so that um, we learn from the lessons of our past as we build upon uh, brick upon brick for our future, upon the new democracy that's dawning in this nation. Khaisang Satere curated this exhibition and carefully selected which paintings would make an impact to women from different walks of life. The exhibition will be at the Constitution Hill until the end of this month. She prayed, hell she even compromised, she lowered herself, only to be pushed aside, she rose, persisted, seek guidance, only to be told, hold on, I go zim, it ain't easy to revive us, dead. Just set her free If you don't love her no more Set her free Tell her to walk out that door Set her free If you don't need her no more Set her free Go find what you're looking for Cause you don't Wanna be the reason for her Wet pillow every night No you don't Want her to get on her knees For things to be No, no, babe, don't underestimate. No, I don't. Don't underestimate. No, 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 don't. No, I'm, baby, don't underestimate. No, I don't. Please don't. Don't underestimate the tears, the tears of a woman. Don't underestimate 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 the tears of a woman. Need to know more about the markets? This is where it all starts, at the SAPC's headquarters in Oakland Park in Johannesburg, South Africa. We analyze, report, crunch the numbers 
Call in the experts, package the news, and bring you critical global market updates from the JSE. The continent's leaders in liquid market movement and the fastest growing secondary listing made right here. Small businesses, the backbone of the economy, with South Africa's very high unemployment rate, it's said that 90% of new jobs could come from this sector. Every weekday afternoon on DSTV Channel 404. We are saying uh, similarly here, in a process which is uh, intended to be impartial and independent, he should similarly recuse himself. One can build conspiracies, and the, the, the fewer facts you have, the more easy it is to build conspiracies. And I suggest to you that when you're su suggesting that there is some conspiracy about the witnesses were called, you might not have been aware of the facts that I've outlined to you. Zimbabwe belongs to all Zimbabweans from all the four corners of Zimbabwe. What a time! 154-26, another meeting record. She made it look effortless. Once again, Casta Semenya, no pacemaker required. Welcome back. Here on Trends, we continue our celebration of women making a mark in different art spheres. This time, I'm joined by a young musician who goes by the name of Lindewa Mautu, who in collaboration with the DJ and musician DJ Visca, have a song titled Tears of a Woman. The song speaks to women and touches on all forms of abuse and how women should be treated. Welcome to Trends. Thank you. Thank you. Doing? Fantastic, and you? That was a beautiful song. Thank, Thank you, you so much Thank for coming. So much. Well, let's talk about the collaboration. How did that come about? Well, it came about a mutual friend of ours, mm -hmm. Jablani Zuma, all the way from the Val. Yes. I'm also originally from the Val. Okay. And yeah, I just like said, okay, there's this guy called Visca, you know, Umzuem with beats and stuff. Mm. How about you guys meet? And then, you know, one thing led to the other. We drove all the way to the East End, and yeah. And I had a, a nice beat for her, yeah. Yes. Mm. So l let's talk a bit about why this content how what made you feel so passionate to to write about women issues look um a lot has been written about women and issues but there was just this one vital piece of information that i see people have actually overlooked mm. you know in terms of obviously hurting a woman it's something that's commonly done in this country but i just wanted to remind the guys Wuti, for each and every woman's tear it moves the lord himself you know, sometimes the Tolugu Tumuntu is like, why is my life not going right? Why are things so going so bad for me? It's that woman who cried or those women who cried in the background that you've hurt. Mm -hmm. So it's just to remind them, you can hurt her, but remember those tears, they don't go uncounted. Mm. Is that why you put it on a house check? Because you know that oh, yes. how it, it's easy to get oh, yes. to a guy's and ear through the house. You know, the fact <laughs> that, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so Visca, tell us a bit about like how it worked out in studio and why specifically this beat for the song? Uh, I titled the song Tears of a Woman. Mm. Uh, there was no vocalist yet. So when I sent it to Chavo, Chavo said, man, I have the per perfect per person for the song. Mm. I'm like, okay, who is she? And he says, okay, I've got Lindy Way. And then I'm like, and then I sent her, I first sent a, a sample of the beat yeah. Yeah. and then she listened to it and then she sent me back or something. I'm like, no, I want to work with you. Mm. I really have to work with you. <laughs> yeah. Well, Lindy, we're speaking of who yeah. are you? I mean, we, we don't really know you in the industry. True. Are you up and coming? Have you dropped a couple of tracks? What should we look forward to? Lindy Way is an up and coming artist. Mm. Um, I've been singing forever. I'm, I've been known in the Val Triangle. Okay. You know when they say the underground? Okay. That's us. That's us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the unknown. So yes, it's Lindy where she's trying to break her way into the industry, hoping for that, you know, women mm. and fellow South Africans will receive her. Mm. So yes. So the sound that you want to focus on, is it specifically house or is it that you just did house on this track and you're looking to do other genres as well? Yes, I, I don't like limiting myself. So any genre that comes along, I go with it. Mm. Yeah. So, Visca, 2018, what are you up to? Uh, this year, I recently opened my events and management company. Um, so, my, my record label is it's still running, and then 
uh, I'm working on my gigs. Tomorrow I have a gig in Soweto Roadhouse. Yes. Uh, it's Kwasha's gig. Uh, mm -hmm. He's my manager there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and on the 1st of September, uh, I have a gig at Ramaphosa in the East End. Mm. Yeah. Well, a lot is happening. I mean, spring is coming. Where yeah. should we be seeing you? Are you going to perform this track at a couple of gigs? Yes, we are. We are working. We're looking into getting into a lot of places. Every, everywhere where there's hype and where there's men <laughs> <laughs> who can <laughs> listen yes. in okay. to these words. Yeah. Because so. the whole point of the song is to get the message out there to the guys, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Mm. And another thing that I also wanted to mention, I see you didn't want to mention it. <laughs> He's got another um, album coming out. It's called oh. Kupulum Sindo. Okay. And, and it's also got Tears of Women inside it as well. So, yeah. Oh, it's the album's out. It's out, yes. Yeah, yeah, but then out, a lot of out, radio sorry. stations are also playing it, you know. Mm, mm. So, we it's, it's on Alex, uh, Alex FM, Josie FM. Josie, mm -hmm. uh, some other local radio station yes. in the hood, yeah. So, who have you worked with in there? Tell us, uh, name drop a couple of people uh, there. Oh. Local Treasured Soul, sure. Lindy Way, uh, DJ Mreja, Nivical mm. Soul. Uh, yeah, there's only three vocal songs. Mm. Yeah. I mean, so Women's Month this is coming to end. We want yes. to know from both of you, what, what did you take out of this month and what, what, what would you say is the way forward when it comes to tackling more issues on, on women abuse? Mm. Um, I, I would say what I could take out of this month is, you know, what we've been doing with Visca, especially with this song, Tears of a Woman. For once, it was not just about us women and what we want in our rights, but it was also about educating us our men, men mm. you know, on how to actually treat us. Because sometimes, you know, there's some men who are just raised by women alone, and they don't know how. To treat yeah, them they're maybe. just doing what, what's been done generationally. So mm. now we've been educating them. So, yeah, I just hope it sank in. So far, what are they saying? Are they, are they getting it? Yeah, they are, hey? I can I'm tell you about it. Yes, <laughs> yes. Getting it. You're getting it? Of course. Yeah, they are I getting it, hey? Mm. Yeah. So is Tears of a Woman going to get a video? What should we look forward to when it comes to the development of this yes, uh, project? Yes, absolutely. Tears of a Woman is getting a video. It's going to be, it's, it's going to, you know, focus on a lot on, on South Africa. It's going to be very raw. Let me say it that way. It's going to be very raw. I'm focusing on a lot of South African issues, you know, real issues that happen in real life. Mm. So yes, we yeah, definitely we have clip, one. We got a clip on social media yes. that's pushing this campaign. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, we look forward to that. And thank you so much for coming through to Trend. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Well, that was Lindy Wamautu and DJ Visca talking to us about Tears of a Woman, which is their latest single that they have out. Check it out. They're going to be out everywhere. I mean, spring is coming and they want to be sp they want to be out there and spread the word on women abuse and how to get guys to stop with this abuse. Now, the Goodman Gallery in Parkwood, Johannesburg, is currently showcasing artworks um, of two South African legendary photographers, Peter Magubani and the late David Goldblatt. The exhibition documents the complex and rowdy history of South Africa, offering insights into the past. This joint exhibition features both popular and lesser known works by the photographers. The exhibition is curated by South African photographer Paul Weinberg, who has worked with both Magubani and Goldblatt in the past. Skimming through these works, it's clear that Makubane and Goldblatt have very different styles. With Goldblatt showcasing his artworks in fine art settings across the world, while Makubane's works have mostly been exhibited in academic institutions. We asked one of the guests at the gallery as to what they think of this exhibition. I think they're very moving in portraying South African life in a time where people's lives were not easy. I found the mine workers in that first room, here they were thousands of miles from home, dressed in their traditional blankets. They must have felt so lonely and so alienated. It's very moving. You get very emotional looking at these photographs. But how did this art collaboration come about? Well, it's about bringing together two South African photographers, Peter Magubani and David Goldblatt. Um, who have worked for the last 40, 50, actually 60 years documenting and photographing South Africa's history from two distinct perspectives. Um, and it's the first time that their work has been shown together. Makubane was always in the battle zone, working closely with subjects who became the focus of his images. Whilst Goldblatt's approach to photography was always slow and calculated and often carried out from a distance. 
The common thread and the sort of message that I take out um, of the exhibition is humanity. Um, both photographers, I think, try to convey our history with a human essence and to tell the story of human beings, um, whether it be black, white, male, female, you know, all, sp sp all different sectors of our society. Both these photographers have played a tremendous role in shaping the society through the lens. The exhibition will be at the gallery until the end of this month. The Autumn General Theatre on the Square in Santon, north of Johannesburg, is currently showcasing a comedic musical production about divorce called Couch and a Piano. Directed by actor Paul Spence, the musical seeks to explore themes of love, loss, hope and freedom. I have a new patient. Oh, she's, she's running a little late for her appointment. It is described as a musical therapy oh, production yes. with an edge. Divorce experiences for most people are often traumatic and depressing, but this comedic musical does the opposite. It unpacks the subject of divorce in a witty and hilarious manner. Couch and Piano is a, a piece of theatre that we've written, um, Kat and Paul and myself have written this piece of theatre, uh, that kind of deals with the various stages and ranges of emotion uh, that people go through in divorce, but it's not divorce as such, it, it could be any loss. Uh, divorce might not might be the specific thing we've we've um, attached this to, but people go through loss and people go through pain, and hopefully they find a way of healing. And this for us, uh, and I heard you asking Kat, how, what's it done for her? Um, it is a cathartic process. It is a when you write something, writing is a very emotional process, and you go back to things that you have perhaps blocked off. So it has been an, an interesting experience from that point. Of view. Uh, Here we see Joe. A recent divorcee who arrives for her first session with Cape Town's top psychologist, Carl Zimmerman. In his consulting room, there is a grand piano and a couple of guitars used as part of music therapy to work through divorce issues. Both Joe and Carl lay bare their broken hearts through song and chat. By the end of the session, these two total strangers are ready to fall in love again. No, I won't back down. No, I won't back down. I am the slightly um, upset and emotional divorcee who comes in to um, the go-to psychologist in Cape Town for divorce um, counselling. And I'm slightly angry and slightly cross and slightly hurt and sarcastic. And I come in... And through music therapy, we decide we're going to do a little bit of um, healing. And we talk it through. And we work it through. And we have a fantastic time, eventually, by the end of the show, playing the piano and getting our anger out and just letting go of all these emotions that come with divorce, the jealousy and the failure. And, and a lot of people can relate to that. And I'm the divorcee. Right now, he's this musical will be at the theater until the 25th of this month. Right now, he's probably buying her some fruity little cocktail because she can't shoot whiskey. We have the organizer of the much-anticipated women's conference on the couch. But first, let's take a break. We will be back shortly. We probe. His bone crushed on three places. So he said, well, we're going to have to amputate. What? We confront. This young girl was abducted when she was 16. She was sold off by her older sister. Now, in grade 11, she has three children. And we expose. So we tear up, we tear, we tear, and it's over to me. You have to put on that. When this is naked, you have to. When you cross your upper, you have to do it. Catch special assignment every Sunday at half past nine, right here on SABC News Channel. They've wasted our time.
They've made our members to go on strike. They've made the public to suffer for nothing. And the was over Jai treatment in Gente, Gangna and Oba, Imale, Aiko. For many six hundred. Stand the pain of holding the drawer. I pull me, I cook away account. What we are experiencing now is due to the number of people accessing the system at the same time. So if they can just be patient for three to four days. I always say entrepreneurship are those that see opportunities where others don't. You can't give me a bad deal. You can't cheat me. Because I'll read my own contract. I know what's going on in my contract. But I've, I've never been afraid of a challenge. I'm one of those people. I didn't know the difference between my money and the business money. Whatever money that came in used to your money. You'd go shopping, driving all these cars, and, and we were forgetting to pay creditors. If we're more diligent with how we utilize our money. So the great thing with this and my other job, being an advocate, is that in both industries, I sort of own my time. Me today, we, we're doing inner city buildings, we're doing commercial projects, and we're doing property development even within the township scale, and even now going to next end of now, even establishing offices in the States um, to be able to raise capital to invest in Africa. Keep it locked to Bupilong every Saturday at half past five. Welcome back to Trends. The month of August has seen many great events celebrating women in the country. One event that most of us have been looking forward to is the In Good Company experience uh, that's taking place on Tuesday at the Hilton Hotel in Santon. The celebration of women has a powerful list of speakers from different industries who are passionate about gender diversity and building Africa. We're now joined by the founder of this empowerment program, Jabuli Lekwala. Welcome to Trends. Thank you for having me. How are you me. doing? I'm good. I'm well, good. a lot of people want to know, is Issa <laughs> Rae really on the lineup and is she coming? Well, no, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> yes, she's definitely in the lineup and she's definitely coming. She's very excited uh, to be coming down to South Africa and having um, a session with us. You know, uh, she's as excited to come through and share her story, but also hear our story and, and learn from us. So we're quite excited to, to be hosting her. Mm. But most importantly, everyone wants to know why Issa Rae, out of all the other producers and directors that are there in America, why specifically her? I mean, look, Issa Rae, you know, firstly is, she's that awkward black girl. She owned it and she then gave permission to a lot of us mm. to just be okay with the fact that we're not perfect and it's okay. We are all unique, we are all different. She owned her awkwardness and that for me is what appealed to me first. She had a dream and in, despite all the challenges that you face in Hollywood, mm. she made a decision that she was going to find a way to make it happen. She started a series on YouTube. Mm. You know, sometimes we have big dreams and then we go, we're not gonna do it because I don't have a funder, I don't have it this, I don't have it that. Mm. She didn't do that, she made a plan. She started a series, she told her story, mm. and that then earned her, you know, the place at the table. She was then able to break through a lot of ceilings that were just, you know, placed for her. Mm. And that is why she's so appealing, because that's the story that we, we kind of want to talk about. And hence, even the, the other women and men who are in uh, the panel, to say that if you have a dream, if you have a story, you go for it. Mm. Well, give us a breakdown of who are those people that are yeah. on the panel. All right, so sure, we have a, a, a nice list of you know, powerhouses, which I am extremely excited to be learning from. Mm. So uh, the show itself is going to be hosted by Nomza Mombata, which you know, we truly, truly love her. Mm. We've hosted her before in one of our monthly uh, sessions. So she will be um, emceeing and hosting the show. Um, we have Unati who is going to be performing, also a very, very beautiful soul. Um, we've learned a lot from her as well. She's going to have a performance at the end of the night. Um, we have Tandi Mazwai, who is going to be in the panel for arts, media, and culture. Um, she'll be sharing the panel actually with um, Greg Maloka from uh, Kaya FM, who is a legend 
in media. Um, and a guy called uh, Charles Bezel, who's the marketing director for Perno, who has done amazing work in terms of taking the African culture to the globe. And they'll share, you know, the panel with Isa. So that's going to be the arts, media and film panel. We then also have um, Entle Mbali Mapumulo, mm. who's also going to be sharing her story. I mean, she has done amazingly well, beautifully, subtly, with such grace. Mm. And, you know, you look at her and you're like, how are you still such a beautiful human like you know what she is so she's going to share a story and what it is that she gets up to and how she you know uh manages to stay the woman that she is and still you know chasing her dream raising her boys intercontinental relationships so we're looking forward to that um, we also have property uh, management, so talking about wealth creation, economic inclusion. We have a powerhouse, Oliswa Daku. It's a, uh, you know, she's an amazing um, lawyer turned businesswoman who has built an empire in an industry that is male dominated. She was able to, you know, look at the opportunities that she was um, awarded and then say, how am I going to create a legacy for myself? How am I going to walk in here? and not take the small piece that they're giving me, but actually just go for everything. Um, she's done amazingly well. She's now, I mean, she's got property projects in New York. Yeah, like, what? Um, we have TT, who's also, you know, done amazing uh, work in, 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 in estate, um, in the estate space. He's selling property globally. Mm. He's not just restricted to just, I'm going to sell, you know, property in South Africa. So those are the learnings that we actually want on the day. We have technology. So the chief marketing officer of Google Africa is going to be with us, um, Zamo Masito. And uh, he'll be coming through with a lady called Nivani Govinda. And we're going to be talking about technology and how we can use technology to improve our businesses, to improve our working lives. How, I mean, the, Google has so many tools that most of us don't even know about. Um, so that is what the day um, is sort of going to look like. We are very excited and we cannot wait. Yeah, well, I'm most excited. <laughs> After just hearing that lineup and the breakdown of yeah. all the amazing people that you have there. Well, you're also honoring a couple of people yes. um, on, the, on the day. Tell yes. us a bit on that. We are honoring Mum Yvonne Chaka Chaka. So firstly, I always have to pinch myself when I even, you know, say that. The fact that I'm going to be in the same room with her is quite amazing. She is the princess of Africa and she has been that for a long time. So we are saying that we are building the Africa of tomorrow. The, uh, the Africa that actually has no borders, you know. We go in, we are, we are one people. And if we are going to grow this continent, we have to look feel and behave that way and what better human being to show us what it looks like to just belong to the continent mm. and love the continent so we are honoring her we are excited that she will be in in the same space as us um on that night and she will share with us her journey as well you know um on on why she chose you know, a different route of saying that I'm not um, just a child of South Africa. I'm a child of the continent and I belong to the continent and I will show the entire continent love and share all of me uh, equally to everyone, um, which I think, you know, for us, that is exactly what we aspire to, to just be um, the children of the continent and just do it fully. Mm. Wow. See, it's, it's definitely going to be a great event. Give us yeah. the details on how much it costs for everybody to just get themselves there. Yeah, I mean, it is pay weekend, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you're trying to get in the pocket. Right. <laughs> so um, you can get the tickets on our website. So um, it's ingoodco.co.za. Mm -hmm. uh, the tickets cost 1250 The event is on the 28th of August, uh, next week, Tuesday. And I can't believe time flies. It's yeah. actually here now. Mm -hmm. And it's at the Hilton Hotel in uh, Stanton. So we are, we are extremely excited, you know, to, to host the ladies, to meet everyone, to network, to connect, and to literally just start to work and collaborate and mm. fix gender equality, gender diversity. And it is an inclusive space. So men and women are welcome. So guys, you know, sometimes they keep calling us mm. and they check. <laughs> really, can men come? It's an inclusive <laughs> space. Yeah. Um, everybody is welcome because the conversation or 
the problem that is gender diversity and inclusivity is not just one for women. Yeah. It is a collective problem and as a collective we can then solve it. Yeah, well, thank you so much for coming through thank to Trends. We're definitely going to be out there on the 28th of yes. this month at the Hilton Hotel in Johannesburg. And that was Jobu Lugwala talking to us about the In Good Company experience that's set to take place at the Hilton Hotel in Santon on the 28th of August. You really don't want to miss that one. And the countdown to warmer weather temperatures has begun with the arrival of spring in a few weeks' time. So you must just be wondering which colors will dominate the 2018 spring summer season and as we all know that trends fashion trends evolve every single year our cameras took to a turn to Hyde Park for an exclusive preview of the latest in fashion and it's safe to say that pretty sherbet colors from lemon wa watermelon indigo blush pink and denim dresses as well as linen are going to dom dominate the streets take a look The rush to get the latest 2018 spring summer fashion trends has begun. And you'll be pleased to know that French and Italian clothing items will be prominent this season, featuring a lot of exciting new prints, fun textures, denims, floral dresses and pretty sherbet colours from lemon, watermelon, indigo blush pink and aqua. We are launching the range of our new season, it's summer 18 and we are just showcasing all the lovely new looks that the season has to offer today. Fashion statements are essential for movers and shakers and these local personalities showed us some of their favourite items. I went for, you know we're in the low rise um, boyfriend jeans, we're back there, we moved from the high rise high waisted jeans and we're now on the low rise so I chose the, this is my first look, I chose this for a casual look but it's actually cash smart. So you pair them with a bunch of heels and then you look so cute. The next look is like a dress. So it's this amazing dress and the fabric is amazing. Just a bunch of like, you can wear them with sandals in the afternoon and then do a heel in the evening and it just transitions. All you have to do is just change your makeup and your shoes. And the last look is a dungaree. So it's more of a Sunday chilled vibe. And yeah, I just chose it because it's so, it's so relaxing. And you know, with the whole summer thing, sometimes you just want just good fabric and airy fabric. So that's why I chose the last look. I chose this look because I love white. I love, um, it just makes me feel like an angel. <laughs> and um, this is just such a stunning like jean, um, really, really nice. It, it, it looks a bit thick, but it's actually quite nice and lightweight. It gives me a lot of freedom, so it makes me feel comfortable. And I actually paired it with high heels to make it look a little bit more um, zhuzh up. Um, yeah. My next look is shorty short jumpsuit, a black jumpsuit that I've waist, um, high waisted, um, belted it with a high waist belt. And I love that because it's quite cheeky, it's quite flirtatious and bold and um, gives me a lot of attitude but also gives me a lot of shape with the waist, uh, waisted belt. And I also paired it with a pair of high heels. My third look is something a little bit more fun. It's got red jeans, so quite statement jeans, and then just a casual tee. So also I'm going to pair those with high heels and can go for lunch, dinner, and it's, it's a real vibe. Celeste Ntuli is looking for love in all the wrong places in her upcoming film. The comedy queen partners with another industry giant on the film Trevor Goombi, and the result is absolute mayhem that will leave you in stitches. You've never seen a woman so light on her feet. I'm sorry. Buyi, at the not so tender age of 38, is still searching for her place in this game called life. After a number of failed dates and the pressures of her family mounting, she begins to crack. The comedic ensemble premiered at Hyde Park in Johannesburg this past week, where cast and crew were visibly elated to see the film come to the big screen. She feels like her life is a disappointment, really. She's been going through a lot, trying to find love, trying to impress the family, the dad, just like a normal thing that most women of 38 are expected. So it's like she's fighting all these battles that people bring to her life, as in defending herself, as in I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I'm enough, although she knows that she's looking for love. So she's going through all those things in a very funny way and quick way. So she's crazy, she tries. But she's a real hustler. Nigerian-born filmmaker Adzi Uga seems to love the rom-com genre, adding looking for love to his repertoire. 
He says the idea originated two years ago after a conversation he had with Ntuli about doing a movie loosely based on her life and her journey to becoming a stand-up comedian. Buyi's journey in, in navigating the corridors of what it means to, f to find fulfillment. I wouldn't say love always means finding a man. Love could be finding fulfillment in your career, with your family, and, and if you find a partner, whether it's a man or a woman, that's just a bonus. Trevor Gumbi brings his comedic personality to sit, taking on the role of Greg, the good guy, who will help Buyi become a star comedian. But the road to stardom is paved with hilarious mishaps. Greg is an absolute sweetheart. Um, he's known uh, Bui ever since uh, they were kids, um, like primary school times. And uh, he's just always been in love with her, but too afraid or shy to tell her how he really feels. And he's been in the friend zone and, will, and stays in the friend zone. I'm getting the land back. And while making you laugh is the number one priority, the film has an underlying message of self-love. At the end of the day, you see how men perceive women of certain age, and I think we listen too much to the noise that comes from the outside. That's, that's the underlying story here, is that no matter how, what are you going through in life, your journey is your journey. And since we go through different journeys in life, uh, the one that is single or married or divorced does not make you any less um, victorious in whatever that you're doing or any less important in your steps and your strides that you're trying. Looking for Love releases in cinemas on August 31st, so go out and see what the South African film industry is capable of. Boy, yes. welcome to the land of milk and honey. Weird. Well, now taking us to break is the soulful songstress Lady X, who dropped her debut album last week titled Love, Life, Complicated on all digital platforms and on all major music retailers. So do go out there and get it. Young people make up the majority of the people in this country. So why is it that the job market is, 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 is filled with old people? We also need someone who can help us with everything. Job opportunities are things that could do 
high levels of violent behavior in our schools, learners physically attacking other learners, learners physically teach, uh, attacking teachers and teachers are attacking learners. The laws that are governing health today will all have to be amended and be changed. Nothing is going to stay the way it is now. Minister, they don't care first, first about the backyard. Yeah. Ne? And then we are sick and tired. And they were fighting, you know, multi family issues. Ne? That's why we want to go and build our shack so that we can live with our children. Our province is on the move all the time. The more houses are delivered, the more people move into our province. <laughs> My opinion, Mr. Infantino and FIFA, everybody agreed that VA is not going well. It's not going well, that's the reality. There's a lot of complaints. We just need to know who is referring the game, who takes decisions in the game. We have the right to know, the people have the right to know. I always say entrepreneurship are those that see opportunities where others don't. You can't give me a bad deal. You can't cheat me. Because I'll read my own contract. I know what's going on in my contract. But I've, I've never been afraid of a challenge. I'm one of those people. I didn't know the difference between my money and the business money. Whatever money that came in used to be your money. You'd go shopping, driving all these cars, and, and you were forgetting to pay creditors. If we're more diligent with how we utilize our money. So the great thing with this and my other job, being an advocate, is that in both industries, I sort of own my time. And today, we, we're doing inner city buildings, we're doing commercial projects, and we're doing proper development even within the township scale, and even now going to an extent of now even establishing offices in the States um, to be able to raise capital to invest in Africa. Keep it locked to Bupilong every Saturday at half past five. The United States will not be a migrant camp and it will not be a refugee holding facility. It won't be. We can't allow that to happen to the United States. Not on my watch. The N2 is currently closed between the Garden Road Mall as well as Bagal Stop due to a violent protest that is taking place uh, inside Tembaletu. The residents are demanding services. Mr. Pelemse elected not to participate in this, in this investigation. We have gone out of our way to appoint an independent somebody to look at this, this matter. It's important for us to not close the door on Ashwin because we still believe that he's got a lot of value to add. Soul pop singer and songwriter Lady X took it to break with her, her song Everlasting that is from her newly dropped debut album titled Love Life Complicated all in tribute to women. She's here with us in studio to talk to us about this project. Welcome to Trends. Hi. How are you doing? I'm okay. Just <laughs> working hard. Yes, that's what you get for dropping an album. Uh, right. How's it been? Because the album has been out mm. for a week now and yes. how are people receiving it? Well, Yesterday I had my album launch and let's just say there were a lot of people that were crying, a lot of people that were dancing. I think everyone is just excited and just proud to see me finally drop this album. Mm. So it's exciting, man. So laughing, dancing, crying, that means yeah. the, the sounds in there are, are just a mix of everything, They're right? a mix. Look, my album is... I. I've called it a fusion album. It's Afro soul, yes, it's Afro pop. There are elements of house music because I come from house music. Mm. It's a, it's an authentically South African album. Mm. Yes. So yeah. That is how many <laughs> tracks do you have? In I, have authentic album? I have ten. I have ten. Who are you working tracks? With? This album was 
produced by Mojale FM Jake's Tebe, mm -hmm. the legendary <laughs> Jake's. And yeah, he produced each and every song. And I don't feature anybody on the album because, Why? because you know, it's it's my baby, you know, it's my first it's my first album, it's my debut album, and mm. I really want people to hear all of me mm. and to hear who I am and what I'm about and what my sound really is. Mm. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the title, Love, mm. Life, Complicated. Yeah. What's happening? Love is, I sing, you know in Afro Soul, we tend to sing about love a mm. lot. I sing about the joys of love, but also the pain in love. I sing about the joys of life, but also the pain in life. Mm. And the complicated part of it is just that, that love and life are complicated mm. and that's the reality and all we can do as women is to get up mm. yeah so this album is is dedicated to women i have i mean uh, my mother is she when i went when i was thinking to myself when am i going to release the album i kept thinking about my mother and so many women that inspire me and so many strong women and i was like august let me really just dedicate it to women mm. Mm. so you have a, a couple of videos that are really out tell us a bit about ngue and mm. you know why wha what's the process behind that well you know the music video that is out at the moment from the album is Ikukulam. I think the last time I was here with you, I think I performed Ikukulam. Mm -hmm. And that was my first song in the Afro Soul um, field or genre, I should say. Mm. And we're about to shoot the music video for Ngue, which is the new single from the album. Mm. So that's gonna be a little bit exciting. Mm. We'll see, we'll try and make it beautiful. Yeah. Well, check out for the microphone there, because, you know, your beads are, are just the doing the most. <laughs> is, it, is it okay now? Yeah, I think so. Well, then, tell us about um, w um, some of the things that we should be looking forward to mm. when it comes to your tour, because I know that you're on tour at the moment. Yeah. Uh, where are you going to be? Because spring is here. Where mm. should we expect to see you? Well, I am, like you said, I'm going on tour, so I'm going to be doing a lot of in-store signings with the album, visiting musicers, like all around South Africa mm. and performing. So every time I come to a musica um, in every city, I'll be performing right there and then. I'll be doing a radio tour and just performing about around SA and just you know letting people know the album is ready and it's out. Mm. Yeah. A whole lot of females are, are, are going independent. Mm. Why mm. did you decide to do that? And what are you focusing on on your own record label? Congrats for that, actually. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's so hard being a record label owner, mm. label manager, and artist mm. is, I, I truly believe it's one of the hardest things I've ever done. But it's exciting, you know. I Owning your own music and being your own boss and controlling your future and your career, mm. it's a lot of pressure, but it feels good. I feel empowered, and I feel like I have... A sense of direction and I know what I want so I have to make it happen I guess it helps because you have degrees in so many things in yeah. branding the, the school the education helps I'm mm. not gonna lie because I think you know I always say it's important to combine book smarts and street smarts because then you can go into board meetings and handle mm. and handle the brand yeah well, that was Lady X with us in studio talking to us about her newly dropped debut album. Do check it out. It's all out in all stores. Well, that's all we have for you on today's episode of Trends. From myself and the Trends team, it's a goodbye from us. We're playing out with the beautiful Lady X. Take it away, Lady X.
young people make up the majority of the people in this country. So why is it that the job market is, 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 is filled with old people? We also need someone who can help us with everything. Job opportunities are things that could do. High levels of violent behavior in our schools, learners physically attacking other learners, learners physically teach, uh, attacking teachers and teachers are attacking learners. The laws that are governing health today will all have to be amended and be changed. Nothing is going to stay the way it is now.